In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, whom the basement of your Son have raised up before the world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob rose and taking his two wives and his two slave girls and his eleven children, he crossed the ford of the Jabbok. He took them and sent them across the stream and sent all his possessions over too, and Jacob was left alone. And there was one that wrestled with him until daybreak, who, seeing that he could not master him, struck him in the socket of his hip, and Jacob's hip was dislocated as he wrestled with him. He said, Let me go, for day is breaking. But Jacob answered, I will not let you go unless you bless me. He then asked, What is your name? Jacob, he replied. He said, Your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have been strong against God, you shall prevail against men. Jacob then made this request, I beg you, tell me your name. But he replied, Why do you ask my name? And he blessed him there. Jacob named the place Penuel, because I have seen God face to face, he said, and I have survived. The sun rose as he left Peniel, limping because of his hip. That is the reason why to this day the Israelites do not eat the cyanic nerve which is in the socket of the hip, because he had struck Jacob in the socket of the hip on the cyanic nerve. The word of the Lord. In my justice I shall see your face, O Lord. Lord, hear a cause that is just, pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer, no deceit is on my lips. In my justice I shall see your face, O Lord. For you may my judgment come forth, your eyes discern the truth. You search my heart, you visit me by night, you test me, and you find in me no wrong. In my justice I shall see your face, O Lord. I am here, and I call, you will hear me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words, display your great love, you whose right hand saves, your friends from those who rebel against them. In my justice I shall see your face, O Lord. Guard me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. In my justice I shall see your face, and be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory. In my justice I shall see your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A man was brought to Jesus, a dumb demoniac, and when the devil was cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel, they said. But the Pharisee said, It is through the prince of devils that he casts out devils. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. 
And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all those who walk into the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, and they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious of the Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, to bless the knowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread and his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant that peace and unity accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those born for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that heaven be replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs and communion and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, O most gracious advocate, the night of mercy towards us. And after this, our heads are show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, Look down with favor upon thy people who cry to thee, and through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, and spouse, thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners, and for the freedom and exaltation of the Holy Mother Church, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray, and thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, rust in the hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruler of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us.